What if I told you that today I'm going to give you a showcase of the best model that Super Machine has ever put into the platform? It's great for photos, it's great for vector illustrations and graphics for social media, it's great for prompt adherence and actually sort of showing exactly what you want within your images. It's just a super, super awesome model. Let's get into the showcase right now and show you Super Machine Dream. So let's look at the model card for Super Machine Dream. I've tried to showcase a variety of different images here. We've got an anime style image. We have some photographic style headshots. We then have some more ridiculous images like a wizard at a grad a college grad party. We have a Lego box of a specific character. We have the Cookie Monster making an appearance. We have a lifelike Goku wearing a tutu. We have some cooking images with some beautiful text on here. And then we even have some images with text beautifully and written super awesome. We also have this billionaire sitting at a table looking very mysterious. So these are a few of the outputs that you can expect within using this model. But I want to show you more than this. I want to show you the photo realism. I want to show you the uh, text and I want to show you how it works within my own generations. So let's get into that now. One of the things that I really like about this Super Machine Dream model is that whatever you write as the instruction within the prompt, it can understand and it can do some quite detailed things. I think the more specific and the more detailed you are within your prompt, the better the output of the image that you're going to get. So you'll see here at the bottom, I have sit, I have put photos of a 20s female with ginger hair sitting in a cafe waving to the camera. There is a sign in the background saying super prompt adherence. And you'll see that we have an image like this which looks super cool. We have super prompt adherence in a sign in the background. We have the ginger hair, we have the waving, we have all of those fingers looking awesome. Remember the days when AI image models couldn't do fingers very well? Well, those days are behind us and we've got beautiful image like this. We then have some other variations of this and we can see and we could choose which one we wanted. I think this one is really cool because you have the freckles as well and AI models have not really been great at making freckles in the past. We then got to the next example, which is our fun style poster, bold capitalized letters with splashes of color and random objects. The text of the poster is, what will you create with Super Machine? And you'll see that if I was to do a social media advert or a blog and I needed some graphic for a blog or the social media advert or a social media post, then these would be really awesome. We have one version with a black background. We have another version with a colored background. We have another version with some pencils, some random stuff, which is, which is what we want. And then we have a final version like that. So if we wanted to create these styles of images, it's now trivial. It's very easy to create text and graphics with Super Machine. So we're very excited to see what you create. Now, I think the model was taking a bit of liberties here, but you tell me. Photos of a Danish 40s female with blonde hair sitting in a bar looking at the camera. She is wearing a miniskirt and leather vest top with a Long Island iced tea cocktail and a sad expression. Her hair is long but has a delicate fringe pattern. So I think that the age is not perfect on here. Maybe we would need to put some more details into the age of the person to get it to work better. But we have the leather vest top type thing. We have the Long Island cocktail and these actually look really great as the cocktails. But the only one which has the fringe that I would like is probably this one here. So this one looks really awesome. Um, but the others don't really have the fringe. So whilst it is a massive step up, I wouldn't say this model is perfect as well. And maybe I could have solved all of this by putting a better prompt in. But 
you know you win some and you lose some and i think if i wanted to play and really like refine the image and go into the more detail the more detail i could get some really great stuff out the next example i want to show is flat vector graphics right often you would go to a website and you download it and you'd have to pay some money or you'd have a subscription and you'd be able to get these and you'd have to pay some money but gone are those days now you can create your own flat vector images on the fly with super machine so if i have a website which is all like purple color and i wanted something with a white background but to keep in with that purple color i can do that and you see that the prompt here is very basic flat vector graphic of a man stressed out of work behind a desk with a ton of paper piling up everywhere he is extremely stressed and the paper stacks are massive white background purple colors and you see that three of the four images are pretty good. We've got the white background. We've got the stacks of paper. We've got a man who looks very, very stressed. If I wanted to obviously put more details into the man, like say his hairstyle, his uh, size, if I wanted a really big person or a skinny person, and what he's wearing, then, then we could do that, right? So this was just a basic one to give you some ideas. And that's all I want to do with these videos is really give you the ideas and the tools and the uh, inspiration to go ahead and use Super Machine and create the images which are going to level up your business or just give you some fun to have on the weekends. And the final image I want to show you today is one where i have been playing around I, I think that ai is getting to a really fun point in time and i think that you're sort of starting to see the ability to create these own worlds and these own universities and characters and all of this development when you put together image and video and text and everything and speech even you, you'll be able to sort of lose yourself in your own sort of uh, metaverse. And I don't think we're quite there yet, but I'm starting to see the breadcrumbs of this sort of falling into place. And I thought, let's give a character that we could have in such a sort of universe, right? So I said, photo of Candy, the star worker at a masseuse parlor. She is shy, young 20s, and has a bob haircut with light gray hair highlights. Originally from Thailand, she has dark skin and an angry face, pulling a funny face, wearing a traditional Thai massage uniform, gold and purple. So you'll see that it's nailed this prompt quite well. And this is another reason why I wanted to showcase this one, because we've got the gray highlights, we've got the purple, we've got the gold, we've got everything that we wanted within the image. Whereas if we were to do this with some of the older AI image models, then usually what you find is that one color becomes overpowering of the others and you might say gray hair and then you'll see that the hair is gray the cut the uniform is gray everything is gray it, it follows this uh this this tinge of that color being overpowering to the whole thing whereas this model super machine dream can do all of those specific specificities within the prompt very very simply so it's live now try it out we'd love to see what you create so there we have it a showcase of super machine dream try it out today within super machine sign up at supermachine.r we'd love to see what you create and how you use it is there any downsides to this model well it's a lot bigger model than some of the other ones so it can take a little bit longer for it to generate but don't worry everything with it everything is within a queue system so nothing gets lost everything will just work and work and it will show you that image once it's ready and then you can use it within your business needs or within your personal needs we are excited to offer this today so if you have any feedback or suggestions of how we could improve it or anything else that you'd like to see in super machine feel free to leave a comment on the video we'd love to hear what you think thank you